Hey, uh, welcome to Mini Calendar, a new Foundry module. Um, once you've got it installed, you'll be able to click on Mini Calendar in the Sync Controls, or you can use uh, the shortcut key, which you can set in the Controls configuration. Uh, once you've got it open, uh, the default view is this uh, month uh, grid view. You can uh, switch to a, a mini version and uh, Foundry will remember the position and uh, the state that you leave it in. So if you uh, reload or quit out and it's this mini version in the bottom left hand corner, it will remember that and it will stay there. Um, we'll just jump back and go over uh, how to set up your calendar, how to change the time and how to change the year. So uh, we will jump with uh, how to set up your custom calendar. So if you click in the little cog, uh, you can select one of the presets uh, or the default world calendar or you can put in your own custom JSON. Uh, you can import and export uh, JSON files as well. Uh, on the documentation site there is some information on how to set up uh, your own custom calendar with like moon phases and uh, dawn and dusk times uh, set for different months throughout the year. So you can either copy or paste it all into here select a default or import uh, as well and just click save and it will um, load the calendar in for you. Uh, once you're in here uh, you want to set the year uh, and the date obviously uh, so you can click up here on the uh, top uh, and to set the year uh, you type in whatever you want and you check this uh, set world time to this year uh, so that sets the calendar to that year because I could say put in uh, 1500 and if that's not checked uh, I'm now just browsing in the year 1500 uh, so if I click today uh, I'll go back to 1492. Uh, to set the time uh, you've got these uh, buttons here which will uh, decrease time by an hour or 10 minutes or increase time by 10 minutes or an hour. You can set time by uh, clicking on it uh, and manually putting it in if that's what you want. Um, also in the configuration you can set the multiplier that time counts up by. So if you're running a game and you want every real world second to count as two seconds in game time you can change that here to whatever you want. Um, and you can press play and the time will start counting up. If you pause uh, Foundry uh, it will pause uh, and there's a setting that if combat starts, it will pause and it will just count up by rounds. Um, so you also have uh, this dawn button, which will take you to dawn of the next day, and the sunset button, which will take you to sunset of today. Uh, and that will read in from the calendar data as well. Uh, to You can uh, add events to days and you can add repeating uh, events as well. So you can either click... Uh, this button here and they'll create a note for today uh, or you can click on a, um, a square to create a note uh, so if it's a blank square it will take you straight to the note creation so we can just call this uh, note for today uh, and we can set a little icon if we want uh, and we can also set it to repeat so we could say we want this to repeat uh, forever and we want it to repeat uh, every six days so this note here will repeat uh, every six days and you'll see we've got this little icon still popping up. Uh, and then if you're clicking on, we've got it here, uh, which is the notes of the 12th. But if you click on a um, day that has existing notes already, uh, you will see, well here we've got one which has got several notes, which is indicated by the little list icon. Uh, you will see we've got these uh, notes here and we've got a nice little repeating symbol. So we know this is a repeating note. Uh, you can click on these to edit the note. Uh, you can change a repeating note to a non-repeating note uh, and that will just save it off as a regular note. Uh, the green indicating uh, a, a repeating note. So uh, with notes as well, if you uh, the contents of the note will be whispered to the GM in chat. So I'll set the date to the 23rd by right clicking on that square. Uh, setting it to today's date uh, and then I'll bring us through uh, to dawn of tomorrow. So I'll click the dawn button and you'll see here uh, we've got a nice little whisper 
the note for today has come up. Uh, and you will also notice that the scene darkness has changed as well. So uh, it's as good a time as any to uh, jump on to uh, the mini view and the uh, game settings. So we'll just jump into the game settings and then we'll go over the mini view. So in the game settings, uh, you've got a few different options. You've got another way to get to the calendar config. Uh, you have this open calendar minimized, which will uh, just override uh, whatever state you left it in and always open it minimized. You have pause time in combat, uh, resume time after combat. You can enable disable. Uh, you have here enable scene darkness control. And you've also got uh, adjust darkness on active scenes only. So if you're seen, uh, if you're on a scene and it's not active, then uh, it won't be adjusted. It won't, the darkness won't be adjusted. But if you just want it to adjust darkness on all the scenes, no matter if it's active or not, you can uncheck that. Uh, and you've got this enable darkness on scenes by default. Uh, and then you can adjust the darkness levels here. Um, if you don't want it to go all the way super dark, if you always want it to be slightly, um, uh, have a certain amount of light level, you can adjust that there. Uh, and then um, if we jump into uh, the scene configuration, you'll notice under lighting, we've got here mini calendar, enable darkness control. So this is like an override. Uh, if you've got it set to default is true, uh, and then you um, don't want it enabled on the scene, you can uh, uncheck that as well and click save changes. Uh, and it won't adjust it, but uh, we want it to adjust. So we will just click this here, uh, save those changes out. Uh, and then, so if we set the time, you'll see that uh, it is now dark. Uh, if we click here, the um, sunset for today, uh, you'll note that we go through a couple of different phases of darkness. We have uh, middle of the day, which is nice and bright. Uh, we've got the dusk, uh, which lasts about an hour, and then we go into uh, darkness. And then the next day we have dawn, which is kind of that halfway darkness again. And uh, it will calculate the difference between what you've set as light and what you've set as dark. Uh, so while we're in this mini view, uh, you will note we've got uh, here as well, add note that will always be for today. Uh, the mini view always shows uh, today's date uh, and today's uh, moon phase. And if we've got notes on the day, so we'll just set the date here to um, the 24th. It's got a moon phase and a uh, note. Uh, and so if we jump in here, we can see we've got the moon phase for today um, here. And then we've got the uh, note and we get a little uh, talk tip. You click on that. Uh, and see what the notes are as well. And then you've got the uh, time controls here. Uh, and you can also use the slider to uh, set the time of day as well. Uh, and it kind of goes up in half hour increments. Um, so that's a mini calendar. Um, jump on uh, to Discord if you want to uh, join in the discussions or uh, post any custom calendars that you got. We've got a little channel there going for that. Uh, I'll jump onto Patreon and see what else I'm working on. Uh, thanks.